Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Grounded on the Radio Man 03, and it is awesome to have you along. Thank you so much for joining me on today's episode. Oh, jeez. There's a berry up here. I want to try it out. There's berries all along the hedge. I'm picking up where we left off. We were just over here on the other side of this, um, uh, I want to say it's probably a bird feeder up here, or a, a bird bath. Oh, jeez. But I found there's an entrance to what looks like another uh, laboratory over here, which is cool. So I thought we'd go check that out. Uh, can I land on that berry? <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm using a chopping tool and it's telling me I need to use a chopping tool. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll grab a berry that's over here. There's more on the ground. Uh, I kind of set us up with a little lean-to and a storage box on a rock. I think it's that one right over there. As a matter of fact, I believe that's it. But I thought before we take care of that, let's go in here and see if there's anything in here. We've not been here yet, so this ought to be pretty cool. Oh, it's locked. Hmm. Okay. There must be a way, of course, to get that open. Got to figure that out. I should probably sleep the night away, and then we can move forward in the daytime. But let me come up here real quick and see. Okay, we can actually get up this way. Something hissed at me. I hear things crawling, but I don't see anything. Okay, it's dark. Uh, I'm going to go back and sleep in the lean-to, and then I'll come back. I'm just kind of scouting out this area to see if this is maybe someplace I would want to build. Because it's really cool over here. The thing I'm not seeing much of over in this area is the dandelion uh, material that we need in order to build, uh, you know, some of the, 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 the scaffolding and things of that nature. We, we need that. There's weeds over here, but I don't have the proper tool, or pro proper hatchet axe to, to knock that stuff down. So... Um, I feel like I'm going to have to wait a little bit on that. But I did put us up here. So just a little lean-to and a basket that I can drop stuff in. Uh, that way I can, you know, keep moving about and get other things taken care of. I should probably do a spit and get that stuff cooked up. I uh, picked up a little bit of clay, some more of the gnat fuzz. Killed a bunch of gnats. Uh, yeah, let me do that. Let me go ahead and take a little break here. I I'm so glad you're here with me again. This is just an amazing game. They really have done a beautiful job with it. And, and I'll come back when the sun comes up. I'm going to go ahead and make myself a little spit and, and get some cooking done as well. Welcome back. <clears throat> Welcome back. I'm heading back to our original base. Uh, there is a hot dog here. Oh, it looks like it's tier two, huh? Requires a higher tier tool for the, the bun. The bun of meat. And there's a hot dog in it right there. It also takes the tier two, it looks like. The tier two axe. So we're going to have to work on getting towards that. I'm not quite sure how to yet. But uh, nevertheless, it'll be fun. Uh, I was looking over where we were at, and there's no dandelions really over there at all. Until you get the Tier 2 axe, it's going to be kind of a difficult thing to get the materials over there without having to haul them a, a, a bit of a distance, really. So I'm wondering if I've got the right idea there, or if I should pick a different spot. I'm really kind of just enjoying exploring the world right now to see, okay, what kind of spots can I build on, and what, what looks good to build on is, is kind of where I'm at. Uh, we've got the ant armor available to us, and we can actually make that, and then we'll be able to carry more material when we need to on our shoulders, meaning the, the grass blades and then the, the weed stems, the weed stalks from the, the dandelions. But I couldn't find anything over there that said, hey, this is what you need for, oh, I think I passed my place. There we go. I think we got, uh... Ladybugs. Yeah, I'm going to have to kill one of these guys, too. They've got a better suit of armor, I believe. I was looking at the armor and weapons as well, and there's a lot of differences in 
what you can do with those items and how they work and, and what they're good for. So it's almost like there's multiple different um, uh, types of things to use. I've got nothing to cook. What was I going to... Different armor for different jobs, like different tools for different jobs, different weapons for different jobs. I was just going through this. Right now we've got the ant helmet parts. Increases hauling capacity. But it doesn't give you much in terms of, you know, uh, defense. This gives you better health. A bonus in your health. And then there's this grub goggles, which give you max stamina. So if you're going to be doing a lot of running and stuff... I guess that's where this stuff would come into play. So there's different tools for different jobs. Now for the help, this stuff here, oh, tell me I brought all that stuff with me or did I leave it in my other one inventory? Yeah, that's okay. I'll make it at the other place. I'm going to go back over there and look a little bit more is what I want to do uh, at that other location we were at. I came back here basically to just kind of, I need quartzite and I don't have any with me where I'm at. So I wanted to grab a little bit of that and take it with me. Uh, we definitely want to take the, the grub goop. Just put all of it there. Take that with us. Uh, we're going to take some of the cobwebs with us. Oh, well, we can get that pretty easy where we are. The mites and that. Pebbles and stuff and the fiber. That's all real easy to come by over there. The dry grass, however, is also something that's not a whole lot... Not really readily available over there. Grub hides. We need to get a few more of these guys, too. And I thought I had more quartzite. I must have run out. We're going to have to go back to that one cave we were in to see if we can find some more. Uh, nevertheless, I'm taking you with me because, of course, we're doing exploring. So I feel like we did a pretty good job going down that away. Uh, and that's where we found out where the, um, uh, the kind of the bayou is over there by the house, the base of the house. And there's that stone wall with the koi pond over there. I thought maybe we'd run back this way a little bit and see see what there is to see over in here. Just to just to see. I, I have no idea, so uh, it, it's good. I'm, I'm not watching videos about Grounded. I'm kind of just experiencing this on my own uh, anymore. I've watched a few, but not anymore. A lot of dead grass in here. Am I going the right way? Yeah, this is what we want to do. I want to come back in this way here a little bit. See, there's tons of dead grass here, and I could even see a dandelion here and there, but I couldn't see any on the other spot. Dry grass chunk. Oh, look at that. The, the fiber in here is actually dead grass. Okay, so this is the... This is the garden rake. Man, I got myself all turned around. I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at now. Okay, the garden rake, and then we walked along here. So I want to keep going the opposite direction of this. I want to keep going this way and see what's over this way. There's a dandelion up there. There's another one there, another one there. <clears throat> this wouldn't be too bad. If we have the ant armor, then we'd be able to carry a lot more stuff, and it wouldn't take quite as many trips. And I believe there's a pair of aphid shoes I can make that would make me run faster as well. What is this here? So where some water definitely got shot through here. Just checking around to see what there is to see. I found another piece of science too, but I can't get to it without doing some building. So I've left it kind of alone right now. Okay, we've got bugs and spiders. Oh, that's a wolf spider and a stink bug fighting it out. Two stink bugs and a spider fighting it out. Oh, there's another one coming my way. I have a storm coming in overhead, so if I have to back out quick and shut down, that's because there is a storm going on. Okay, so it looks like he killed one. Possibly two. I wonder if I could monopolize on that and get those parts. Am I fast enough to run away from all these guys?
Come on, spider. Yeah, go over there, spider. These stink bugs are all up under the ground and stuff. Oh, that one's alive! <laughs> I thought that one was dead. I thought he killed two, but he only killed the one. <laughs> run, radio, run. Stink bug gas sack. Whoa, super jump. <laughs> I thought he killed two. That was mistaken. Sadly mistaken. What do we have here? Well, that's the picnic table. Oh, look at the gas can. Oh, there's like a pesticide can over there with a bunch of gas in here. Uh... Oh, you guys mentioned that the spade I found on the ground, although that's a spade, that's not spade gulch. That is a spade right there too, a shovel in the ground over there. I'm wondering if I'm actually able to use that and go back in there without getting... Uh, probably not. That's what's nice about this is we got the gas mask now. Well, at least we can make the gas mask. Holy cow. Some serious imagination. I guess the developer of Sydney, about 13 people have been making this game. That's pretty impressive. Okay, so this is all under construction here. We've got a picnic table and stuff. That's pretty awesome. We are right on the edge of the world, it looks like. Can we go back here? We can go back here. Does it mean there's nothing back in here, though? Because it's under construction. It's not, it's not obviously not finished yet. Looks like it, huh? Hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing fantastic. Happy to be back in here exploring the world. I feel like we're getting around it pretty quickly. It looks like they're going to do a lot of expansion. At least that's what I heard the developer saying. I watched an interview with the developer. And uh, the next update is coming on the 27th of August. It's going to be a sizable update. Gotcha. I need to uh, examine one of those guys. Oh, this is how we can get up here. Okay, good. We're going to keep going this route right here. There was some science along the stone wall right here that I was wondering how to get to it. It looks like this is exactly where you go to get to it. So there's the sh a shed. Awesome. Oh, real quick, while I'm thinking about it. Uh, and repair. There we go. We're going to have to get some more quartzite because I am running low. Yeah, if you look over this side, this is we're getting back closer to where I was at at the beginning of the episode here. I don't see... Oh, there's a lab. Or another one of the research spots. Right there. There's some water right there I could get a hold of. Uh, quality of life stuff coming to the game as well, like um, being able to move entire stacks from your inventory into chests. Uh, that's one thing coming. Maybe, it, and then our tools and stuff aren't in our clothes and armor aren't going to count as items in our inventory. They will go on like a hot bar. And once you put them on, I guess they won't be counted as that anymore uh, in your inventory. Because right now everything is in your inventory. It takes up quite a bit of space. So it looks like that's something that's going to be changing down the road, too. I'm carrying a lot of different weapons with me just because we've been out and about so much. I'm spending most of my time kind of exploring right now just to see, okay, where are the... the where's a nice building spot? 
I found one, but without the dandelions, I'm kind of kind of screwed. I don't know what's after me. Threat engaged. Ooh, what's this here? Oh, what is it? How are you supposed to fight something you can't see? <laughs> what the heck, man? I couldn't even see that. I have no idea what just attacked me. Alright, I'll come back. I'm gonna walk around a little bit more and see if I can find... Uh, you know, more interesting spots. Again, like I said, there's no dandelions at the other place, so I don't know if I really want to be there now. I thought I did, but now I'm like, eh, I don't know, because there's there's nothing there. We do have a couple of things to analyze. Let's do that before it gets too dark. Still working on getting towards the uh, ant armor. Again, just exploring and getting to know the world. Let's get that aphid done next. Insect hammer. Oh, really? Aphid slippers. Gas sack. And the gas mask is all open to us now. So, if I go into my workbench, that's where this stuff should be, correct? I could use some ants, too. I could really use a bunch of ants to kill. So I can get, uh, I don't have to run all the way back to the other side. It's not very far away. It really doesn't take that long to get there. I was just kind of thinking it'd be nice. Uh, let's go ahead and set this as our respawn point right now. Gas mask. Here it is. We need a weevil nose. <laughs> oh, okay. Nat fuzz, woven fiber, and stink bug part. We've got four. So really all we need is the weevil nose and some woven fiber, and we'll be able to make that. That's not too shabby. Aphid slippers. Raw aphid meat times two. And ten. Mite fuzz. And I think those make us move faster. Uh, let's... Let's go ahead and leave this here. Leave this here. We'll leave that there. The goop here. Uh, aphid meat. What did it say? For the aphid slippers? Raw aphid meat. Okay, so I need one more aphid to make those slippers. It's getting dark. You guys aren't going to be able to see. Let's get those slippers made if I've got both of them with me now. There we go. Let's craft those. Never seen them before. Let's do it. Uh, inventory. Okay, those go in where your leg armor goes. Hmm. And what does it say about those? A pair of slippers made from slippery aphid meat. Not very effective defensively, but makes you run like the dickens. Okay, I'll come back when the sun comes up and we will take a look at, uh, you know, just continuing enjoying our time here on Grounded. So I walked up to this anthill and a whole bunch of worker ants came out of it. A whole bunch of them. These shoes, by the way, they do make you run about twice as fast. I'm curious to know what's down in there. Uh, but I think if I have the ant armor, I believe if I wear the ant armor, I can actually walk in there without being attacked by anything. So I'm working my way back to the other spot that I was looking at for building a base. Again. <laughs> I can't help it. I get, I get to roaming around in here, and my head starts turning, and next thing I know, I'm way off track as to what I was doing and where I was going. So it's pretty cool. I love it. So I went up on that direction over there, but it doesn't look like I can actually get through. You can't get up on top of 
from this rock you can't get up on top of here. Uh, so it kind of a uh, a bit of a dead end right here. I don't know how I would get up there unless I were to build, and I don't even know if that's you know a viable part of the game right there to be able to get up there and do that. Um, I have been kind of stopping and looking to see. Okay, do I see dandelions? We got stink bugs down here, ants, and there's a few spiders along this wall as well. The flower pot is where we got our science yesterday. Uh, we've seen this stuff over here, but it's yeah. And then one of you mentioned the rocks behind the sprinkler system, and the sprinkler is just over here. Uh, and we, I saw that too. There are there are some really nice rocks there. Oh, jeez. I pushed the wrong button to deploy my, uh, my thing. The Great Backyard Explorer. Here I am. Sounds like there's petals falling off of this. Oh, look at this, yeah. Very cool. Awesome. So flowers are something... Can we just hit it down here? Hmm, didn't seem to have an effect on it. I'm trying to find that stone now where I saw that, uh, that science at. It's going to be closer back to where we were. At the beginning here, the episode. I'm heading back that way anyway so we can make the ant armor. I would like to go down into an ant hill today. i tell you what, look at all the pollen in the air right here too with the flowers. That's pretty awesome. Let me, uh, let me break away. I'll come back when we're really going to do something and I feel like I've got kind of a better idea as to what it is I am going to do because right now I don't. I'm just kind of roaming around and trying to find a, a decent place to put something up and until we can get the better tools we're not going to be able to put anything up at the moment nothing really grand anyways okay it just alerted me that i'm close to something here To take care of our grub stuff we need too right there there's one of those guys that spew the stuff out of their butt there's another spade right there oh what's this here oh there's the marker right there That's Spade Gulch. I don't really have what I need. I need some clover in order to fix that. It's a little marker, so we're gonna have a need. We're gonna need several of those in order to do this. Uh, number four. Oh wow! I can't believe he came out of the ground. Nice and clean. Okay, I'll meet you back at the place. We'll, uh, oh my god, I'm all turned around, going the wrong way. Oh. Here's a new creature. I've never seen this one before. What can I drop out of my inventory? Drop that. I'm going to go ahead and trash that stack. Yes. We're going to make a little bit of space. I'm going to consume that, and hopefully we get something off of these bugs here. Well, let's go ahead and trash one of those. Yes. I don't need that. I've got some food on me, so we'll be okay for a little bit. But I am kind of curious about this bug right here. I see two of them at least. I know it's dark. We're going to give this a shot, though, and see what happens. Oh, God, they're really causing me some damage. I have no bandages, either. 
Got him. It's dark out, but you guys can hopefully see this happen. Getting my arrows back. Oh. They do not like to come across the water. They actually take a decent amount of damage from these arrows, too. Uh, while it's dark out and I'm here, that's where the science is up here, above these cobwebs. There's some cobwebs right here and some up in here. Let me get the torch out. My mom always says I light up a room. And I don't know what to do to get up there. I don't want to jump on the webs. I know people have been getting stuck on the webs, so I'm not going to jump up there, but that's... That's where that science is. I think if I put a couple of foundations in, I could probably get up there pretty easily. There's probably another way up there as well. I thought maybe I could get up on this piece of grass, but it does not let me do that. Yeah, it's not letting me do that. I could probably actually put something next to here to jump up there and get on that blade of grass to drop off up there. <clears throat> but right now I'm looking to get a uh, workbench set up so I can make that ant armor. I'd like to go down into some of these holes we found. Well, at this point in time, I can't make all of this, but I can make some of it. There's the helmet. The knee guards need two acid glands. I have, I think, one of those. And then we can make the knee guards as well. But let's see here. Does it say, say an acid gland down here? It does say acid gland. So if I could get another one of those, that would be nice. Um, inventory... Double click, double click there. So now I can carry a bunch more stuff with these guys on. If I do a full set, I imagine it's much better. There's our our points are at 1,050. So let's do this, this. There we go. Let's throw all that stuff back on. <clears throat> do I have room to put all this gear in here? I sure don't. Man, I'm just... It's taken me a while to get to this point. We've got the two noses now that we needed for... I think it was the gas mask, wasn't it? Is it just the two noses for the gas mask? Grub goggles, gas mask. Uh, we only need one. Might fuzz... I th stink bug parts. One of those as well. I think we can actually make that gas mask right now. Uh, we'll check that out in the next episode. I'm really trying to curious if I can get my hands on all of the pieces, parts that I need for uh, this ant armor to help us out. Okay, just give me a second. That's some kind of a warning here. What is this all about? Give me your guts, ant. So I got a little warning there when the ant got close and was taking something of mine. I'm not quite sure how he got out of... He didn't take it out of one of the chests. I didn't have any food in the chest, so he must have found it on the ground or something. Okay, so I've made another torch. We have a backup torch. I have a few other supplies put together as well. I'm going to go ahead and drop off a bunch of this stuff into the box. Is, and then we will head out the door. Okay, got the water. Let's go check out that place. I want to stand on this frog's hand, too. He started banging like a drum last episode. Maybe it was just because I found him, huh? I don't see anything on him that's of interest to me, though. He's very buried. Okay, let's go check out that research facility. Oh, more mushrooms up ahead too, which is fantastic. All right, good deal. All issues resolved. I know there's a mushroom farm I can build. I know there's a dew collector I can build. I know all those things, but I'm still looking for kind of a nice little spot to build. I think I may have found one, but it's not going to be up high off the ground. That could be an issue for me. Okay, I'm going back over towards the sprinkler and the hedge. They need to work on the water a little bit, the swimming. It's uh, a little difficult to see what you're doing while you're swimming. Because you're underwater. 
I actually found a droplet of water on one of these uh, grass blades underwater, which was kind of weird. Okay, there it is, right over there. This is where we're going. There's a couple of spiders here. That's what I wanted to be careful of. And there's a blueberry, right? If we get one of these berries, that would really be great. Now, in the last episode, there were spiders here. Underneath this tree. And they don't seem to be here this time. It's very dark back in here. Hopefully you guys can see okay. It's very shadowed and shaded. I'm going to guess that maybe this wire is what I used to get up there. Maybe? Yes. Okay. Barry, let's uh Okay, we got some berry chunks to analyze as well. Hmm. Okay, there's a there's a stick that goes up here. Grab up that sap real quick. I'm gonna grab another berry too. Alright, here we go. Up 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 up. Uh 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 up. There you go. Ooh. Oh, that was close. Almost fell. There we go. Nice. The Hedge Ascent. Okay, let's do this. Mmm. Nothing for that, huh? Let's do the berry. A berry chair. Okay. We got this guy's head as well. The larva. Larva head mount. Oh, nothing really fantastic there, huh? Okay, well, it's it's stuff we didn't know before, so that that's a good thing. Uh, is there anything else up in this tree worth looking at? There's a juice box way the heck up there. There's a spider web right there. Oh, here's some science. That puts us up to a cool 1,210 right now. Oh, this is really amazing. Look at this, guys. We're up in the top of this treetop here. Oh, my. There's spider webs all over the place up here, too. Which would make total... Which makes total sense. Oh, I see some baby spiders up here. Squish. Oh, look at that. The nectar is sitting here on a leaf. Oh, that is so cool. That is really awesome. Oh, look at the spiders up here in the canopy of this bush. This is inc there's The wire is going up and back down around here. Ooh, careful. Don't fall off of here, radio. Some silk off the baby spiders, which is really nice. Hmm. I'm a little worried about using my dandelion to float down because it is pretty worn down, but let's give it a shot. It's getting used up pretty quick. 
You've only got that much life at the top of the screen on that if you don't know that already. Nice. Okay, now I don't have that anymore. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and... and uh, well, we'll hold on to it just in case. That was pretty cool. Up in the treetops. Huh. Awesome. Uh, let me take you and show you where I was thinking about doing some building. Because I would like to try out some of the, the other um, items that they have in the game that I've not tried out yet. Again, though, the resources are a fair distance away, so it's going to take some work in order to get them. I'm wondering if I wear the aphid slippers, if I have those on and I wear the ant armor hat and, and uh, shirt, well, I, I think you have to have all of it, but I was wondering if I could have both those so I can move faster and carry more. Don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and throw this down here. We'll throw this in here. I, I know I'll, I'll get these things organized once we get a little bit more situated in what we're doing and where we're going to be. Uh, at least I've got this stuff going for me. That's nice. Yeah, everything is starting to get worn and torn, and I, I need to figure out where I can get that quartzite. It was that first place we visited in the very first episode that I think is where I'm going to have to go back to in order to, you know... Um, get more quartzite uh, they sent us in there burgles has got more missions that i've not gone and done we've also got information now about where we know where the, uh, generally where the spade uh, gulch is i just turned those off so they're not on the screen anymore uh so there's yeah wow um amazing so so much to do there's just a ton of stuff you can do it's really cool there's plenty of stuff to keep you busy is it back here that i was looking at That didn't work too well. I was thinking about back in here. See, here what we could do is we could do clay foundations across here. We could kind of border this off, I think, and keep things out. Now, that doesn't stop things from falling from above, but uh, we could do the same thing across here a little bit, too, since things don't seem to climb over the top of this stuff very easily at the moment. Uh, it's going to change, though. Developer talked about how he'd like to do that, but it's not a priority for him because it's very difficult to change what they've done already in terms of the animals climbing like up structures and stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to build yet. I, I guess I just don't know yet. Um, there's the rocks on the other side of the sprinkler head over here on the other side of this little bayou here that we could do. I just don't know. I just don't know. I'm I'm very very torn by it. Inventory. Do I not have? Oh, I got 15 arrows on me. Inventory. Yeah, I have 15 arrows. It only shows. Oh, that's because one at a time in the bow. We do need another one of those acid glands in order to make. Weevil nose. There's another weevil nose. We needed that. Let's see if we can find those larvae and get another one of those glands. I need that for the uh, that ant helmet. Or the ant shoes or whatever it is. Gnats. They're doing exactly what they're supposed to do. Irritate you. I think they're really cute. We've discovered a few new things today. I see water up ahead. Oh, it's rock, actually. Where are those larvae at? They're here somewhere. There they are. There they are. Oh, I got another acid gland. That's beautiful. Okay, we survived it. We're okay. We're going to make it. <laughs> oh, boy. 
Uh, did I get another one of those glands? Still only have two. We're going to need another bandage. Alright, that's going to have to be enough of that fighting right now. Because I am out of bandages and I don't have a whole lot of bandage material either. But, we've got some stuff off of those guys. That's good. We, could, we should be able to make the ant stuff now. And uh, here's a little bit of water just sitting here waiting for us as well. Nice and clean. Oh, this club is nice. Can't wait till I can make the ant one. We're going to have to go find the ant hill. Next episode, we will do uh, some ad cave adventuring, I think. We're going to have to go down in there and get, get busy getting some of that stuff, I think. I'm just hoping I can have the ant armor so maybe I can draw out not all of them at once. <laughs> I have a feeling they're probably going to be far more powerful than the uh, the regular ants. Okay, so we've got the glands on us. Uh, what else do we need for that piece of armor? Workbench gear. Okay, I got the glands, so I need five parts and two mite fuzz. Five parts and two... Two... Three, four, five of those, and then I needed more of the fuzz. Grab those guys right there. Can I make that now? I can. Okay, sweet. All right. So I've got that. I've got that. All right. Tab. Inventory. I should be able to do this, that, and that. Now I can carry a ton of stuff. We cannot make the better club. We're going to have to go in with that guy right there. I'll probably make a new one of those. Our dandelion is shot. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's going to have to wrap up today's episode. I've been at it for a little bit, just running around and getting kind of a feel for the game again still and just exploring this beautiful backyard. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, do hit that like button for me, comment, subscribe, and share on the Radio Man 3 Have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day, and I do look forward to talking to you again next time.